name's Sue Hamilton and I'm the head teacher at Washington Academy. We've put together a little video so that you can see what life is going to be like at Washington Academy. Some of our staff are going to talk to you and you're going to go on a little bit of a tour of what our Academy has to offer for you. We've done this because unfortunately you haven't had the chance to come and have some taste days with us on transition. It would have been absolutely fantastic to have been able to meet you in person before the summer but we think it's really important that you feel comfortable about coming to Washington and that you're ready to start in September. We are really, really excited about seeing you in September and you starting your journey with us at Washington Academy. This is an absolutely fantastic school to work at. I love working with our staff and our students are just absolutely brilliant and I know that they're going to make you feel really, really welcome too. Washington Academy will feel really, really big when you first come, but I promise in that first week it will shrink. And that's just because you will get to feel really comfortable in your new school, in your new environment, with all the new people that you're going to meet. Really looking forward to seeing you. Enjoy the video. Hello, my name is Mr. Hogarth Willis and this is Washington Academy. Now, I know all of you haven't had much of a chance to come and have a visit in school, uh, have a look around at our facilities and the classrooms and meet some of the staff that work here. So we put this video together to make sure that uh, you can have a look around and, and see what we've got here to offer at Washington Academy. I've got some of my wonderful year 10s here to help us today. So if you'd just like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, hi. So here at Washington Academy, the school is broken down into four different colours and these colours are going to help you navigate your way around the school and help you find your way from one place to another. There's four different colours, we have blue and green over that side and over here we have red and yellow. And in all four different areas you'll find that the furniture and the chairs in those areas are colour coded so you know where you are and it'll help you get uh, to the next lesson and the next place that you need to be. So over here is the yellow area and Kyle's going to tell you what you'll find over here, what subjects and what rooms. So this is the yellow area, we have an upstairs and downstairs. Here, along this wall, you'll find the dance studio. This is for the dance students when you take that as a GCSE. We have the student hub here, so students come here to learn about things like the LGBTQ community, other things such as their concerns about what's happening around the school, what they think could happen in the school and improve the school. We also have the science departments down there and down there. And it's obviously science, you can learn three subjects there, chemistry, biology and physics. Next we have in this room over here, music. Music students take this and learn a variety of music techniques and things about instruments. Down here we have the PE area. This area here is where PE happens, so various, various sports, various activities after school clubs, lunchtime clubs, break clubs. And over in this area here is red. This is where the art department is. It's called purple area, but we tend to just say it's red area. We also have a computer room here, an indoor one, and a computer room there, an outdoor one. And we have a kitchen and the design technology up here. Uh, there you'll learn catering and design. You can take them as GCSEs. Over in this corner here we have green. Green area is all about maths, English, and you also have a computer room upstairs and downstairs. You also have some water fountains in these areas as well, just in case while you're walking around you can change over or break for lunch. You can get a drink if you need it. So. Also in the blue area, this is the humanities and language area. The humanities consists of geography and history. And also, if you're in year seven and eight, you learn about things mixed, and which is called humanities. 
As for languages, you can learn two languages, Spanish or French. Uh, personally, I take French. Uh, and over here, we have a pit stop. This is where you have your break and lunch. You can eat here, talk with your friends here. And also, it's the sort of gateway in the each four of the areas. Okay, so now we're upstairs in the red area of school in one of the most exciting areas uh, that we have here at Washington Academy. This is one of the catering rooms, and this is where you'll get uh, some of your food lessons. And Amy's going to tell you a little bit about what might happen when you get here and what lessons you have in these rooms. This is the catering department. People who choose as a GCSE option also study hospitality work, for example, work in hotels, restaurants, for people who aspire to be chefs, any, anything in the hospitality business, really. Students fetching small portion of money a week before the cook in exchange um, for the catering department to buy lots of different foods for the cook with. Um, some of the things that's made here pasta, coleslaws, cakes, soups. And the final exam for if you choose it as an option is you have to make three course meals and just judge by your teacher. So we're still upstairs in the red area and this is one of our art classrooms. As you can see, there's lots of different things going on in here. We've got lots of art materials, lots of paints and other things that you can be creative with in this classroom. Now one of the students here, Faith, she's doing um, GCSE art. She's going to tell you a little bit about what else happens in this classroom. Um, so in the art department we do a range of things, for example, clay work, modelling, painting, drawing. Um, and if you take it for GCSE, you might get a chance to talk about as well. We are in one of the red area rooms. This is the technology department and this is the technology workshop. So you can see there's quite a lot of tools in here. This is where you'll do uh, some woodwork, um, working with different types of materials and things like that. And Cameron, one of our year 10 students, is uh, doing design and technology as part of his GCC course. So what types of stuff do you do in this class? Uh, in this class, the day, uh, the day two, you um, go on the computers, you design 3D models of the house and all the measurements. And once you've completed the task on there, you come into the workshop and you design the model either with wood or card. So this is one of our IT suites and as you can see we've got uh, lots of state-of-the-art equipment in this room. Uh, you'll get lessons in here uh, for your IT subjects and also later in Washington Academy when you reach year 10 you'll start clicking options and you'll get business studies lessons in here as well. We've got lots of rooms like this all the way around the school with lots of computer equipment in and um, you'll be able to use that as soon as you get here to Washington Academy. Okay, so what lessons do you get in this classroom? Uh, you get French and Spanish, this is the language classroom. Excellent, and uh, what do you think about those lessons? Do you like them? Uh, yes, very exciting. Yeah, and do you think that you might go on after school to uh, get a career where you would need to use a language? Uh, yes, perhaps. Yeah, um, and what types of stuff do you want to do when you move on from Washington? Yeah, I'd like to go to sixth form in the university and then go in the medical industry. items, we sell toast, bacon and sausage sandwiches and other items, hot drinks, cold drinks, stuff like that. And then at lunchtime you'll be able to get either a hot meal or a cold sandwich or we do hot paninis as well. Everything in school is operated by a thumb, you don't have to bring any money in at all. Your parents can charge your thumb up from home and put all of your lunch money on there. And then all you do is come over to this machine 
stick your thumb on here and then you can put some coins in here and that'll charge your lunch up. Once you've done that, you can go straight off to the counter and pay for your lunch on your thumb. So, you also get a chance to have some time outside while you're here at Washington Academy. Uh, we have break time in the morning and also at lunch times as well. So once you've had your lunch, you'll be able to come through this yellow area. All of the areas around school are colour coded. So this is the yellow area that leads you outside to the yard. Uh, here's my year 10s waiting to go outside to have their break time. So we come out of these doors around here. So do you want to follow me outside, guys? You then go through these automatic doors, which leads out into the yellow yard. And this is where you can get some fresh air, have a bit of a run around, maybe play some sports during your break and lunch time, and just have some free time and hang out with your friends. This is the yellow area and this is where you'll find your year leader's office. In this yellow pod area here, all five year leaders are in there and you'll also find your year leader, Mrs. Coates. Uh, over here we've got the PE department, the sports hall is just through that door there. We've got the fitness room and outside are the outside sports facilities over here. And you can also get out onto the yellow yard, that's where you go for your break and lunch time. Uh, over here, you can see we've got some of our fantastic Year 10s and they're going to tell you a little bit about some of the leadership opportunities that you can have here at Washington Academy when you get further up the school in the Year 10. Uh, all four of these students are sports leaders and Kyle over here is going to tell you a little bit about what that involves. The Sports Leadership is a group of individuals who run sports events in school and run things such as out outdoor activities, indoor activities after school clubs, we have our own uniform, nice Nike uniform there. We also have uh, our board of sports leaders here. All of us hardworking individuals. Okay, so this is the main school hall and this is where you'll have your year group assemblies. You'll get one assembly per week. We also have special events in this room, so uh, when your parents have to come in for any parents meetings or parents open evenings, this room will be used as well. Uh, and also other special events like musical shows and talent shows and those type of things will all be held in here. These seats here will be where you sit for your assembly and these seats also push right the way back so we can use this space uh, as a big space for special events here in school. I'm going to be your year leader for the next five years in Washington Academy. We're really looking forward to seeing you all in person. Hopefully I'll have spoken to most of you by phone before um, you come in September, be able to answer questions and queries that you've got. I'll be based in the yellow area, you'll see me round and about and you'll get to know me quite well. Hello, I'm Mrs Basie, I'm the Behaviour Manager and I work within the pastoral team. My job is to support you all with your learning and to make sure you're happy and you're safe. I do that by helping to build an environment of mutual respect trust and happiness. Hi, I'm Miss Colt and I'm the safe garden lead and it's my job to make sure everybody's as safe and as happy as they can be. I'm so excited to welcome you all back in September and hope you have a lovely summer. Hi there, my name's Mrs Wilson. I'm an assistant head at Washington Academy. My role is within the enhanced resource provision in the green area and that's where you can find me. I help support all pupils and look after all of the teaching assistants within school. Hi, I'm Miss Parkin and I'm one of the assistant head teachers at Washington Academy. Um, my team are responsible for looking after your welfare in September and making sure you're happy and can make the most out of the academy life. I'm also a PE teacher so hopefully I'll get to teach you in September and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. See you soon, bye! Hello everyone, my name is Miss Routledge and I'm the assistant head teacher in charge of teaching and learning. So what my job is to make sure that your lessons are really engaging and most importantly they're helping you progress and do as well as you can when you're at, with us at Washington Academy. This is my office um, but mostly you'll see me walking around the building and popping in and out of your lessons so feel free to come and introduce yourself and ask any questions that you need to. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and having you part of Washington Academy and have a lovely summer and we'll see you in September. Bye!
Hello, my name is Derek Ostrick. I'm the Deputy Head Teacher at Washington Academy. I've been at Washington Academy now for 19 years and I've been here that long because I absolutely love it here. The staff and the students are absolutely a pleasure to work with. My job is generally looking at setting students' targets and how you're doing towards those targets, so working towards your final GCSE grades uh, as you work your way through Washington Academy for the next five years. I also teach maths and I absolutely love maths. If you ask me, it's the best subject in the world, but I am just a little bit biased. Um, if ever you need any help with any maths or if you need anything, that, uh, any help in terms of knowing how you're doing in your subjects or how you do better in your subjects, then I would be generally the person you could come and talk to about that and you would find me on the main corridor in the Deputy Heads office and I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing you join us in September. I'm so excited and I'm even more excited to see the journey you're going to be on over the next five years. Don't forget to see you. Thanks now.